Sometimes the simplest ideas fill a big gap. An auto blend is a great example. It is a fresh blender add-on released just a few days ago that can let you blend two or more objects together in your render, a trick that Blender doesn't offer out of the box. So AutoBlend uses Blender's compositor, in addition to CryptoMat under the hood, to merge objects in screen space without manual mesh or material tweaking, which is kind of interesting to think about. My first thought was honestly, why isn't this built into Blender? But I'm glad someone actually tackled it. So let's see what this add-on is all about. First of all, at its core, it works as a screen space post-processing effect, blending objects at render time, independent of your scene's complexity, or material setup for that matter, which is great. You don't have to remodel or retexture anything. The auto merges the visuals of selected objects' materials in the final image, leaving your actual meshes untouched. It is also flexible across render engines, supporting both Cycles and EV. On a side note, the live viewport preview works only in EV so keep that in mind. All of these features make AutoBlend kind of a unique tool, but it doesn't just blend one object to the ground, it can mix many objects at once, which is actually a big deal. But here is an interesting question, where does AutoBlend shine the most? To be honest, it seems like a fantastic tool for environments and scenery work. Imagine you have a rocky cliff model sitting on a terrain. Normally, you would see a harsh line where the two meet, but AutoBlend can make the base of the cliff kind of smoothly fade into the ground, as if it is truly part of the landscape. I found this especially useful for kit bashing scenes. You can mash up models from different sources and use AutoBlend to hide the scenes, making the whole composition look cohesive. You can even create wild abominations by molding random models together, and honestly, the creative possibilities there are kinda endless. It is also handy for things like blending a building or a fence into an even terrain, and integrating debris or rubble piles with the ground, so they don't look obviously placed. Essentially anytime you want to soften or ease the border between two meshes, be it like rocks and soil, tree trunks and grass, or pipes, walls, you name it, this tool has you covered. Even though you could achieve similar transitions with complex shaders or geometry node setups, those require a lot of work, because some of the users don't enjoy modifiers or geonode-based solutions, I mean for this kind of work of surface blending. But you will find AutoBlend's screen space approach kind of really convenient, especially for this type of work. Now, before you jump to the page to buy the add-on, a quick reminder that this add-on actually has some limitations to be aware of. The effect doesn't support transparent materials, so you can't blend a glass object into something, for example. Also, since it is a screen space effect, the blending can disappear or clip if the blended area goes out of the view or behind another object. You might also see visual artifacts, like slight flickering if you push the blend distance too far. In addition, you won't see the blend in Cycle's viewport render. As I said, this only works with EV. And lastly, because the blending happens in Blender's compositor, it can be baked or exported to a game engine. But none of these quirks are deal breakers, especially for me, given the add-on's purpose. The artifacts are a typical trade-off with any screen space technique, and in my tests, they were minor as long as I used sensible settings. Just be aware that the add-on is best used for final renders in Blender itself, because it is not a magic wand for exported assets. So if you often build intricate scenes, like if you are an environment artist, archivist designer, or anyone kit bashing lots of assets, you will probably need this add-on a lot. So if you are interested, you will find all the necessary links in the description. And there you have it guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also please subscribe to the channel to receive more videos like this and don't miss on great add-ons like these. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.